majority present. We will call the meeting to order. This is our annual meeting. Uh, it's prescribed in our bylaws uh, to be held uh, uh, in May. Um, first up, we have a, an award for uh, Morgan Kane of uh, Bristol. Susan, you're going to uh, describe. Yep, well, I can just tell you as a preamble that, as usual, every year the Bristol County Water Authority uh, awards prizes at the State Science Fair. Science, the State Science Fair is all the winners from the individual schools that would like to participate. Uh, the winners go to the State Science Fair, and then we go to the science that fair and choose the drinking water projects that are done by students from Bristol County and give awards from on behalf of Bristol County Water Authority. Sue Andre actually uh, goes on behalf, she couldn't be here tonight, but she goes on behalf of Bristol County Water and judges those projects and chooses the winners. Um, so tonight we have Warren Duquesne, who is from Mount Hope High School and uh, is um, one in the senior division. Uh, we did not have any junior division candidates this year, but we had a senior division winner. Um, I happen to know that not only did she win from Bristol County, I know she won uh, the top award from Rhode Island Water Works. We judge projects throughout the state. And I believe won also the entire yes. first place for the entire wow. science fair. So she can right. tell us a little bit more about that. <laughs> and tell us how you did it at the National Okay. okay. investigating um, a new technique on how to deal with runoff that's entering our groundwater and ultimately affecting the environment. So I investigated using uh, basically the design of a natural aquifer, which would be making basically man-made aquifers and seeing how we could use them within society in order to filter the runoff before it enters our groundwater. So I also Ultimately, I made um, a lot of different mini filters with experimenting with the different substances and seeing how the water was affected. And I basically found the most effective model and then kind of employed it in a larger situation, which kind of um, represented what it could look like in society. And then I kind of played around with um, Brochothermal Blue, which is an indicator, a weak acid base indicator, um, which it actually turns yellow, it turns the water yellow when it's more acidic, and then when the water is more basic, it turns more blue, and then anywhere between it's green. So the water that I was filtering, actually, so I put it in the filter yellow, and it actually was coming out. Um, one round, it actually came out clear, which was kind of weird. So then I actually took the pH of that water, it was actually neutral, which was a 7. So it shows some aspect of neutralization of acid in my models, which is going to be further explored. And basically, my, my project applies to the real world because um, I know in the Midwest they have the Agua Aquifer, which, apply, which, surpla, sur, no, sorry, uh, which supplies drinking water to more than 2 million people. So it shows that we're using aquifers in the United States to supply drinking water. So there's no reason why we can't use an aquifer in order to help clean our groundwater. That, before like the groundwater affects the quality of well water and so on. Very interesting. Very so quick question, isn't this a variant of what Walter Burke did to filter the runoff from the parking lot of, yeah. by the town beach? So basically that was brought up to me a lot. Um, so I know that even at nationals people were asking me questions about that and how um, I know that a lot of people are using like the rain, the rain gardens and things like that. So it's kind of just going along with that trend. It might not be the same, but it's just following that green track. Tell me a little bit about the about what you put in. What was that material you put in that changed the color to, um, to the acidity? Yes, yeah. so that's from blue, which is a pH indicator. So when it's blue, it's like a 7.6, so a little more basic. And then when it's yellow, it's uh, about a 6. And then anywhere in between that, it's green. So it more, it's more um, neutral form, it's supposed to be green. But then my filter, actually, the water's coming out clear. So then I added more chromothermal blue to see how the carbonic acid within the indicator was affected. And the water did come out blue, which would indicate that there was no more carbonic acid in the water that was filtered. Very good. How did you do it nationals? Um, nationals, so there's about 2,000 kids, um, all in Pennsylvania, for this one event. Um, from about 70 different countries. So I didn't place or win special awards, but there's only about 20% of the kids that go actually win awards, so 
I was part of the majority. <laughs> <laughs> I like that stamp. <laughs> Very good. I want to give you a certificate of recognition to you for having been selected as a winner. And there's a small check in here for you as well. Thank you. <laughs> um, actually, in a few weeks, I'm attending the uh, Stockholm Junior Water Prize, which is a national competition for all water prizes. Well. Great, very good. What? Let me give you an update on the annual report and the audit. As we agreed, we held the meeting to be in compliance with the bylaw of the annual meeting. Everyone knows that the annual report is. Good evening. Thank you so much for coming. Good morning. The annual report needs to be vetted by Pam, who has not been available to do that. And so once she is able to review all the pieces that come together, but she needs to review that, all the pieces, before we're able to accept it. And that will be done next month. I think that's yeah. nothing. We'll, we'll make I copies. I can give an update of where. Sure. Why don't you do it? Where we are. Um, well, Pam, this year did pick a good time to go away because it, it's proved to be the audit is still working. As a matter of fact, it's on the fifth week. And uh, one of the things that has taken so long this year is Paris. we've moved to the completely new format. New GL, new groupings, new everything. And the auditors are required to do a comparable analysis. So they have a, you know, to them it's apples to oranges. I can't compare the last year. Uh, so they... They came to me and said, uh, we're having a lot of trouble trying to, to compare to last year. We would like you to change everything from this year back to last year's format so we can, uh, we can compare. And I said, you've got to be kidding me. I said, there's no mapping that goes backwards. I said, but I did create the software to map Ah, I said, I can take last year and make it in this year's format, which proved in itself to be quite a project. And uh, so um, that delayed us quite a bit. Plus, we had a new um, manager on site, Jerry Bennett, who had done it with another company here about five or six years ago. So she had to familiarize herself with the, with the, the, the firm and it, with our our system as well. But it wasn't just that that wasn't matching. We had a problem with uh, the statement from our, our pension that there were new Gatsby laws of how he used to, to present it. And he took it upon himself to put it in a new format that's not required until this year. But he did it in a new format to get a jump on it. And again, they said, we're not comfortable comparing. So this week we had to go back to them to redo that in the old format again, so we get everything apples to apples. This is the pension? This is the, uh, usually who does the pension year end at the end of June. Okay, and then he usually does an update in February. But he did last June in a new format which said he did not require them to do one in February. So um, he wasn't that pleased that he had to do it, but they, they come to terms on it. So as of uh, this afternoon, I have a rough draft of the, um, of about 75% of it. And uh, the good news, I asked were there any deficiencies and they said none. So, which um, we're able to, um, and, and there was one more issue we're still working on is um, 
having the old system, revenue was produced and produced a report within the old system of what revenue was. Now, the UMS program creates revenue and then it downloads to uh, a separate GL package of which I manipulate a bit because I have to adjust for a Water Protection Act and everything. So they're having a trouble. Um, I, I bring it into with all the accruals and everything you know, off offline with the uh, the UMS system. So um, they're having the trouble. To, they want to report off UMS that matches me in in, uh, in, in the GL, which um, that system produces like a a, a a billing report, but not a revenue report. So we're trying to match a billing report to revenue. And then the new system doesn't count customers like the old one did. So we've had some, some, some differences in how it counts customers. The new system counts a customer if there's a meter but it's shut off, but it's there, they're still a customer. With the old one, it had to be billing to be a customer. Um, will they, next year, this is the year of the hiccup, obviously, this is the Will they take the new system's numbers for comparison purposes next year? Or will they good. You're not going to have to do this, this on your own. Um, I don't think they expected it. I, I, didn't, I thought they would be able to massage it enough to. Uh, and they said uh, either you have to adjust it or we have to adjust it. Uh, but they, they, they'd have to bill us. And I said, I'll, we'll do it. So we, we remapped all of last year to the new format. It came out OK. So they're they're happy, but that's take, where we stand. And, and, and they'll uh, take this year's numbers for so We're about two weeks behind. Where we we normally have the annual report tonight, so I, I'm just getting their draft, and now I have to do the MDNA uh, next week, and then get that back to them, and then. Um, so we'll be ready next month. We'll be ready, okay. one way or another. <laughs> Sounds good. At least so, the progress is appropriate and there's no red flags that we see. There's, I, I asked them specifically today a heads up on any deficiencies and they said there were none that they, they had. So, which is good. Fair enough. Thank you. Thanks. Our uh, next order of business is nomination and election of officers. Everyone's got the uh, sheet so you can see we require for chair uh, six affirmative votes. For, for the board members. So I'll open this up for nominations. Jim? I will. Uh, yes. Oh. I'm going to make a nomination. Though. Let's see what I, I was going to make a nomination. <laughs> I nominated Alan Clepper. That's well, the same person I was going to <laughs> You get a second. I second that. Are there other nominations? Hearing none, we'll take a vote. All those in favor of Alan Clepper, raise your hand. Aye. And I'm going to vote opposed because I think that it's healthy to have change. Okay, six to one. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to nominate uh, Bill Geisel, William Geisel for Vice Chairman. I'll second that. This is, uh, also requires six votes. Uh, those, are there any other nominations? All those in favor, raise your hand. This is unanimous. Thank you, one and all. Treasurer. It requires five votes. Are there nominations for treasurer? Chairman, yeah, Frank Sylvia. Frank Sylvia. Any other nominations? Ready to vote? All those in favor, raise your hand. It is unanimous. And for secretary? I'd like to nominate Raymond Paul Mary. No senior. Second. There's no second required. Any other nominations? We're ready to vote. All those in favor for Ray, Secretary, it is unanimous. I abstain. <laughs> you abstain. I never vote for myself. myself. Okay. I never vote for myself. Thank you. Uh, let me say that it has been a very eventful year this past year, as everyone knows, with the big change in the computer system and the big move for all the projects that were underway. Uh, and the bonding, um, I think very clear to me and I think most of you that our real task, I mean things are moving along now, whether there are problems that are yet to be solved, but they're in motion to be solved. The big issue I think for all of us is the alternate supply of water. 
that's the critical item. And how we end up dealing with it, I think we must face that this year to nail it down. If, uh, if uh, East Providence is recalcitrant for whatever the reason, valid in our eyes or otherwise, uh, we still must move ahead. We must make a decision on how we're going to treat this and work with the state and our legislators to try to, to make this happen, at least set the stage for it. And given the circumstances of the economy, I suspect this may be somewhat painful for some people, but nonetheless, it's got to be done. In any event, we'll, we'll have plenty of time to deal with this. Um, designation of committees. My intention is to keep the committees as they have been. Finance committee, uh, Joel, uh, Gina, and Ray, with uh, Joel being the chair. Uh, the personnel committee, uh, Paul, John, and Brad, with Paul Bishop being the chair. So we'll move ahead. If, if we need engineering or any technical matter, we'll set up a committee for that as, it, as, as it's required. Uh, any other items that anyone wishes to discuss? I'm going to throw one out if you don't want. Sure. Uh, last night at the Barrington uh, Town Financial Meeting. Well, I, this is an agenda item. It is it? A, just a discussion. This is no action. No action. I'm just reporting something. Else. Just a. Uh, a rate pair came to me and he said that he thought that. Recently, the PCWA was being run very well, particularly the financials, and I was very pleased to hear it because it was from Gary Morse. And he <laughs> mentioned Mark in particular as sitting down with him, and he felt that he had a much higher level of confidence, and I think that's a tribute to Mark and the whole staff uh, really moving it in the right direction. Given who that's coming from, that's high praise. It is, and that's why, <laughs> which is why I felt it was necessary. So Okay, I think that's it. Could yes. Just very quickly for discussion purposes only. Yeah. Could you just recap? We uh, we were contacted by the newspaper about the uh, Barrington Bridge, and I think you talked. Yes. About uh, some people WGR responded WGR directly. Uh, I responded to to Walt Buteau. Uh, Pam responded to Walt Buteau. We essentially gave the same information. Uh, basically. The, uh, I made it, made it clear to him that the main water line was at the end of Ferry Road under the river. And this was a line that had never been used. And that when we were in the midst of dealing with this, I, I think that they were really after the DOT, not us. Because I uh, witnessed the uh, uh, Channel 12s, I don't know if it was Sweeps Week or not, but I witnessed Channel 12s discussion about this and the whole thing was really focused on DOT and whether they were dealing with things. And the new director said, yeah, we're dealing with it. So you know, things will go on. I mean, why why the pipe twisted, why the hangers got messed up, who knows. Pam speculated that since it was open, the water, if it froze, if there was any water in the pipe that froze, it, it shouldn't have twisted the pipe because there was nothing holding it back. But so much for all that excitement. Thank you all, and uh, it seemed to go. Right. Given it's 620, there's no other business. I'd and like so, to um, yes. ask that something be put on the agenda for our next meeting, which is a report on the uh, repair and remediation of the driveway easement that was used for um, the new pipe on Papa Squash Road, because I had a complaint from the property oh. owner. OK. Put that on. You got that. Given that there's nothing else, we do, 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 having a, when the next meeting are we scheduling that yet? We haven't scheduled yet. We want to make okay. Pam come back. We'll we'll set that up. It'll probably be later in the month. I, I don't think there's anything pressing other than right now things are moving along. On all, on all courses, it'll be a matter of of uh, when we want to receive the annual. Thank you all for coming. We'll adjourn the meeting. Those make a motion to adjourn. Seconded. Seconded. And all those in favor say aye. Aye. aye.